It is looking more like Mother Nature is preparing to put a big dent in California's drought later this year or perhaps end it all together. Yeah, with each passing day, the possibility of a stronger El Nino this fall and winter that could bring a lot of badly needed rain to California is becoming more likely. San Diego 6's John Carroll joining us live in studio with the science behind this hopeful prediction. Well, Netta and Jim, climatologists first started noticing the signs of an El Nino forming a couple of months ago. But they noticed the same thing last year, and it fizzled out before fall got here. However, this time around, the possibility is looking stronger for a strong El Nino than it has in years. It's something that affects every single Californian. A debilitating drought, now stretching through year number four. But the folks who study and closely watch our climate say what's happening off the coast of South America right now could finally bring us an end to this dry spell. Temperatures across the equatorial Pacific have been running um, well above average uh, uh, over the last several months. And here's what that looks like on computers at the National Weather Service. See that red blob? That's the warm water which, more likely than not, will bring us an El Nino this fall and winter. There's a real good correlation between a strong El Nino and heavier than normal precipitation here. An El Nino occurs when the surface water temperature around the equator is one and a half degrees Celsius above normal. Right now we're at 0.9 degrees above and the trend is that it just keeps getting warmer down there. The last time that happened was in the fall and winter of 2009-2010. We had a couple of months of very heavy precipitation, but then uh, the warm waters uh, faded fairly quickly, and then we saw the weather turn and become dry again. Computer models have gotten more advanced since then, and Dandria says that if things continue on their current path, we could be in for a whopper of a winter when it comes to water. The coupled ocean atmospheric models uh, are all indicating it's going to continue to strengthen right into the fall and early winter. Of course, all these computer models are just possibilities of what could happen. But take a look at this. Those red bars indicate that the possibility of a strong El Nino is now above 90 percent, and they show this one could have staying power. The model now indicates that it won't taper off until the late winter or early spring. Now, just to be clear, we're actually technically in an El Nino right now. It's just whether it will be a strong El Nino. And all of this comes with a caveat that as good as our computer models are now, Mother Nature is still inherently unpredictable. There have been El Nino years in the past where there has not been above average rainfall. But tonight, it does appear we can all have more hope than ever that it's going to be a wet fall and winter here in California. Live in studio, John Carroll, San Diego 6 News.